as many of you know, Grandma DC here, um, I'm often talking about the bug problem I have in my house because I keep my back door open for the dogs all the time because, you know, my life's kind of crazy. And uh, for the last week, I have been hearing this really loud croaking noise when I leave the kitchen. And I walk in and it gets quiet. I leave, I come back, it gets quiet. And I have had this weird feeling like I've been being watched. And uh, so the other day, well, I decided that it must, it wasn't crickets, it was too loud, it was trilly, that it had to be a frog. So I've been on this great American frog hunt, <laughs> off and on. And today, I finally located him. God's little gift to the bug problem that I have. I thought I had been seeing less flies. And here he is. I shall call him Kermit. Let's see how close we can get and hope Kermit doesn't jump. He's been up there for days. I think he's a cute little tree frog. <laughs> he's even kind of changed color to disguise himself to match the golden rod he's sitting on. And he's sitting right above this moth that came into my house, attached itself to the curtain and died. I just left it on there because it looks like a decoration. No worse than taxidermy. And look who's throwing a fit because I'm talking and vlogging. Mr. Angus. Are you throwing a fit because I'm talking and vlogging? Yes, you are. You want to be on camera? Is that what it is? Are you being a turd too? Yes. Yes, they are. And my neighbors are mowing. And all the chickens are happy. Hello, Elvis. Hello, Priscilla. How are you this evening? You're doing a great job on that big pile of junk. Can you eat all the wood, too? I doubt that. Oh, more and more every day I'm starting to see. Scudner? Scudner, stop that. I am starting to see more of the tree that's down in the yard and more of the wood that we couldn't even see when the weeds grew up. Oh, good. I think that they're even starting in over here now because I'm starting to see some headway. Hello, how are you doing, Romeo? Oh, do you want in with your sister, little black hen? Nothing. Scudner? Angus? I hope she hits you in the face. Scudner? No? Angus? No? They don't want the goats anywhere near the house. I guess in a way that's good. <laughs> oh, huh, big man on the, on the porch. Don't want to get down there, huh? You mean barking at somebody bigger than you? Angus, let's go inside and stop barking at the goats. Come on. So, uh, it looked as though I was going to get a real weekend, like three days off. And then they sent out a begging letter, oh please, oh please. I called up and I said, hey, you know, what do you got? Because everything I volunteer for is already taken. So I'm working through Friday, and the only day I'll have off is Saturday again. So maybe next week I'll have a full weekend, and we can do more keto things. Although we probably will, like I always do, in the limited time I have here at the house. I really was thinking about taking my bread recipe and uh, seeing if it will loaf. Because <laughs> I have a brand new... New, new, blue loaf pan. New, blue loaf pan. New, blue. Say that a bunch of times fast. So, um, I might just mix up a batch, maybe a double batch. Put it in here and see if it will loaf and cut because someone mentioned 
French toast. <gasps> Keto French toast. So down with that. I'll give it a try. So there's the batter. And we know what it is because we've all watched Grandma DC's amazing almost carb-free bread show. Haven't you? Well, you're going to have to go back and watch it. <laughs> I had been making them in rounds. This is the first time I'm going to put it in a loaf and see how it turns out. Be back in about, probably about 30 minutes, I would say, at 385. Kermit's talking! King. Hello, Kermit! I cannot see you, so I hope the film is catching you. Hey, you doing, boy? You got a big old chin there. <laughs> That's a boy. Pretty, pretty frog. Pretty boy. 45 minutes. And yes, it loafs. Can you hear that? It sounds hollow. It sounds yummy. I can't believe it actually loafed. I thought it would just like go not work or something. Oh, it's going to be so exciting to cut into, but I'm going to wait till it cools off. Maybe. Do I have the willpower? No, I don't. I just love silicon. Ooh! Look at there. Now, a few times I've made keto bread and I've tried to loaf it. It usually shrinks and falls in when it cools. So we'll find out. Oh, yeah. There it is, baby. Oh, and all of its low carby goodness. You know, it's just pork rinds and zero carb iso pure, right? I'm gonna have to go back and look at the recipe. I just doubled everything. All right, can't wait to cut into it. I'm gonna try. Wait till it cools. Oh, you know I'm way too impatient to wait until it cools. I had to start cutting. Look at those holes. Look at the breadiness. Let's see if we can get a slice off here for making a piece of French toast tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Oh my goodness, even hot. Look at that beautiful texture. All right. I'm happy. It's hot. It's bready. I'm going to put butter on, eat a piece, and tomorrow morning... French toast. French toast. Aha. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. I love you all. It just gets funner and funner, doesn't it? Little look around the yard. See my new frog pet. Eating all my bugs in my kitchen. Little goddess gift there for me to eat the bugs and the animals and the craziness. And Thank you for liking, sharing, or subscribing. Bless you. <laughs> you are hearty souls. I love you all. Stay safe. Bye-bye.